Hi, Cody with Milano Music, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble, hold, and get your first notes on your flute. So the first thing we need to do is talk about how to safely open our case and take our flute out. Uh, on all of our rentals and most uh, instruments, we'll have either a bumper sticker or the emblem of the company on the top part of the case, and this lets you know which part you should have facing up to safely open your case. Once we open the case, we'll see a few pieces inside of the instrument, the head joint, the main body tube, the foot joint, and then also a cleaning rod, which you can see how to use this in a care kit video that is also on our site. So before you take your instrument out of the case, please pay attention to where things are situated in the case. Each item has its specific place and the case is actually form fitted to each section of the flute for safety's sake. So now that we've opened the case, uh, we want to go ahead and assemble our instrument. So always lay the instrument on something flat, either the floor or your lap or even a nearby table. And then once you have it someplace safe, we're going to take the head joint out and we're going to take the main body tube. So when we assemble the flute, we want to make sure that we always hold it in areas where we are not grabbing any of the rods or the keys so that we're not putting any pressure on this and kind of knocking our instrument out of adjustment, which would cause it to not play properly. So what I like to do is I will take my right hand and kind of put it around the tenon of the main body tube and then the head joint is going to go into the tenon and we're going to put it in with a twisting motion. And the way that you know that you've got it in properly is that on the front um, ten, part of the neck tenon, there will be an emblem of the brand of the flute. And then the embouchure hole on the head joint should be lined up in the center of that um, emblem. So next we're gonna put the foot joint onto the main body tube. Um, so take your left hand and put it on that same neck tenon area. And then we're gonna take the foot joint out of the case. Same idea, we're gonna put the tenons together and with a small twisting motion, we're gonna put the foot joint all the way onto the main joint. And we wanna line it up so that the E flat key is right in the center of the tone holes at the bottom of the main body tube. Okay, so now that you've got your flute assembled, let's talk about a few parts of the instrument. Starting from the top, we've got the head joint crown. We've got our lip plate, we've got our embouchure hole, and then this entire part of the instrument from the crown into, until the neck tenon is all called the head joint. And then we come down onto the main body where we've got our keys where we're gonna put our fingers. We've got tone holes, which are the holes that are cut into the tube where the sound comes out. And then all of these long pieces of metal here, we call those rods. And then on the foot joint, same idea. We've got tone holes, we've got keys, and we've got on the underside of all of these rods, uh, what makes your keys go up and down, um, we call those springs. So now that we've got the flute assembled, let's talk about how we're gonna hold it and what we're gonna do with our hands for proper playing position. So let's take our left hand and you're gonna curl your fingers a little bit. Your left thumb is gonna go on the B flat key on the underside of the instrument. And then on the top, curl those fingers and you're gonna put your left hand fingers on the top part of the flute uh, on these keys here. And then your left finger is gonna uh, rest on the G sharp key right here. Your right hand, similar idea. We're gonna kinda curl our fingers a little bit. And then underneath for your right hand, you're gonna take the pad of your thumb and just place it under the body of the flute and then curl those fingers again. And we're gonna take our first three fingers in our right hand and cover the last three tone holes on the main body tube. And then your right pinky is gonna rest here on the E flat key. So now that we're properly holding our instrument, let's talk about playing posture and bringing the instrument to us. So you always want to stand up or sit up straight when we play. If you're sitting, move to the edge of your chair. Um, we want to take our knees and turn them about 45 degrees to the left and then keep your shoulders and upper body straight. And then we're going to bring the instrument to us. So hold the flute out so it's almost perpendicular with the floor. And then we're going to bring the head joint to us and we're going to place it right under our bottom lip on our chin.
So the next thing we're going to do is talk about making the first sound on your flute. And the first thing we need to discuss is the embouchure, or what you're going to do with your mouth and your lips in order to produce a sound on the flute. Um, what I like to do to get our mouth in the correct position is say the phrase we, and then the phrase to, and then your lips should be in the proper position to make a sound. So we say we, to, and then we would just blow air straight out across the flute. So one more time, that's we, two. So what the phrase we is going to do is it's going to lengthen your lips a little bit and it's gonna give you some firmer corners for your embouchure. And then saying the word two is going to open the middle of your lips just a little bit so that you can um, focus the airstream across the embouchure hole. So um, after you've practiced that, we, two, all right, we're gonna work on our head joint position. So take your right hand um, with just the head joint and we're gonna cover the open end of the flute. Your left hand is gonna go on top of the crown. Hold it so that the embouchure hole is facing up and then you're gonna rest the lip plate on your chin and then just um, onto the top portion of your lower lip as well is gonna cover about a quarter of the embouchure hole. And then we're going to say that we, two, and then we're going to blow straight across and we should make our first sound. We, two. So let's do that one more time. So right hand, cover the hole on the head joint, left hand on the crown. We're going to hold it so that the embouchure hole is facing up. And then you're going to place the lip plate on your chin um, so that about a the lower lip is covering about a quarter of this embouchure hole. Then we're gonna say we, two, and then blow straight across. We, two. So don't get discouraged if you have trouble at first making a sound on flute. It's a lot harder than some of the other instruments because since you're not blowing into a mouthpiece, you're not getting any resistance back. So a few things that you can do to troubleshoot and kind of work on finding that first sound um, is to realize that the flute sound is really dependent on everyone's shape of their mouth and teeth. So everyone's position as to where the head joint is gonna be on their lips and how their embouchure is gonna form is gonna be different. Everyone's is gonna be unique. So you need to take some time to find the position for you that works and produces a sound. Um, my things that I like to do and recommend for this would be to spend some time with a mirror. So you can either spend some time in at home in the front of the bathroom mirror, um, putting the flute in different spots and move it side to side and up and down on different places on your chin and lips to find out where it works for you. If you have larger lips, you need, may need to move it down or up a little bit more just to accommodate um, how much of your lip is covering the embouchure hole. Another way that you can practice is to get like a small compact mirror and you can place this on a music stand in front of you and then same idea, you can use that to see where you're positioning your lip plate and your embouchure hole and find the combination that works for you. All right, so once you've made a good sound on just the head joint, let's go ahead and try the entire instrument. So put your head joint back into the neck tendon of the main body. Remember to line it up using the emblem on the neck tenon and the center of the embouchure hole. Those two should be lined up together. All right, we're gonna take our right hand, thumb underneath the body, and then covering the last three holes, one, two, three on the main body, your pinky is gonna rest on that E flat key. Uh, on the left side, thumb underneath on the B flat key. And then on the top here, we're gonna go one, skip, two, three, and pinky is gonna rest on this G sharp key. So the note we're gonna play is an open fingering. We're not gonna press any of the keys down and we're just gonna focus on making a nice sound. So remember, we, two, and then blow straight out. We, two. Okay, so remember, we're gonna sit up straight. If we're sitting, knees to the left about 45 degrees, we're gonna bring the instrument to us, 
Same idea, you're gonna find that position so that the lip plate is resting on your chin and then your bottom lip covering the hole about a quarter way. Take a nice deep breath into the diaphragm and then blow into the flute. So along with forming your embouchure, make sure that you're holding your flute in the correct position. We don't want the flute down so that we're bending over. We don't want to hold it too far up. Um, we don't want to be straining any part of our body. We should be nice and relaxed and comfortable. So once we're done practicing for the day, we need to properly and safely put our instrument into our case. So um, we're gonna open the case and then just the same thing backwards as when we took it out. So um, always hold the instrument by the tenons and never by the keys or the rods. So first thing that I like to do is easily twist off the foot joint. Okay, and then take twist out the head joint, place that in the case, and then same idea with the main body tube. Now it's a good idea before you put the instrument away every time that you should do some uh, cleaning and light maintenance every time. Um, to see how to do that, please visit our care kit video also on our YouTube channel. So once we've placed all our parts of the flute back into the case securely, we're going to go ahead and close the case, latch it up, and remember when you're not playing or practicing your flute, always put it in its case and latch it up so that it stays safe and is ready to be played the next time that you're gonna practice or take it out for a performance. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, please give us a call at 480-827-1111.